Hi, welcome to the Mishler Focus. I'm Philip Mishler. The focus area for today is racism. Uh, Webster's defines racism as the thought that one race is superior to another one. Uh, for this show, just think of racism as prejudging or having a bias against someone simply for the color, color of their skin. I have one word for racism. Disgusting. No individual should be viewed at and projected onto the race, and no feeling of a race should be projected onto an individual. Every person is unique and should be treated as such. All of us live on earth, we have one thing in common, we're human beings. Uh, scientists have proved over and over again our DNA is different from every animal, all the other animals on the earth. Uh, we are human beings, we're, we're a species all to ourselves. The color of the skin is irrelevant. Do not judge a person by the color of the skin. It's just wrong. Get to know the person. Get to understand the person. Then, then judge. And I hate to even say judge. Judge is a bad word. Evaluate the person on that person's abilities, that person's skills, and how that person interacts with you. Never take that person's interactions and project it to the race. It's just wrong. Uh, how to eliminate racism in the U.S., it's going to be extremely hard. Really, across the world, it's going to be hard. I mean, the only thing, more education, more understanding of how, how similar we are to each other. And the biggest thing, I mean, you know, one thing, like, like I said before, we are all human beings. Start at that. View every single person as another human being. Every, every human being has, has the ability to think, has feelings has you know a rational thought process uh, and then I'm sure a statement your parents probably taught you or if not they should be teaching you treat others the way you want others well, you would like others to treat you not take that a step further treat others the way you want you would like others to treat your children or your parents or your spouse it's it's just you know you have to be able to look at and treat everybody equally basically I mean don't don't prejudge don't have prejudgments uh, a challenge for you to go out and eat lunch with somebody you never had lunch with before or, or sit down with them in the break room and talk one thing you'll find I mean I've been all over the almost all over the world now uh, definitely all through the United States and one thing you'll find in common regardless of the culture regardless of the color of the skin the parents are trying to do make life better for their children period across the board doesn't matter the class of life you're in doesn't matter the color of your skin across the board the parents are just trying to make the next generation to have a better quality of life I mean I've seen it repeatedly and like I said I mean you know I've been in 48 of the 50 states only Michigan Alaska and Nebraska uh, and I'll get to them one day and I've been in 10 countries and it doesn't matter who you talk to, who you run into. I mean, it's pretty much across the board. The parents are just trying to do something to make their kids' life better. What else can you do? You know, just talk to your children. Understand them that racism does exist. Uh, let them know to expect it. It's going to happen. Uh, but also teach them how to deal with it. Or like, you don't know me. Don't judge me because you don't know me. I mean, there's things like that, you know, that a person can say, get to know me before you judge me. I guess that's the bottom line is, you know, no one's perfect, but don't prejudge somebody. Don't have a bias and you never met or talked to the person. Don't understand their background. Don't understand where they came from. And never project an individual's action onto a race or a race's action onto the individual. It's, it's just wrong. We have to get away from it. Uh, one thing that would help is take all the race questions off the forms. It's ridiculous, actually. I mean, when I grew up, it was uh, black, white, and other. Nowadays, you can get a form. I filled one out last year. I think it had 20 options for the race. It's ridiculous. It shouldn't even be on there. The only person who needs to understand your race is your doctor, and your doctor can get your race from your DNA. And then he actually has your genetics, which is more important than your race, because most things are gen genetically based and not strictly. There's a couple things that follow races, but it's from the genetic background. 
So once again, I think racism is disgusting. This has been the Michler Focus. Thanks for watching.